Well, I have uh, a view on sobriety checkpoints is that they shouldn't be random. I think many societies uh, will not take kindly to completely random checkpoints. But I think there's a big gap between completely random checkpoints and what is happening, I think, in Bermuda today, which is that you have to be blind drunk and evidently blind drunk for the police to act. Now, this is partly because of the state of the law and the difficulty of obliging people to take a roadside breathalyzer test. Uh, and if they resist, if they say they don't want to, you have to arrest them. And then if it turns out that they uh, pass the test, that they are not over the limit, you still have to take them down to the police station because you've arrested them. So there's the, 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 the law may need some tidying up there. But I think what uh, can be done is for the police to pull people over when there's any suspicion. And the suspicion can be quite slight, and people should not be offended but being pulled over are asked to take a breathalyzer test and be found um, not over the limit, under the limit, and therefore free to go home. It doesn't take long, and it's all in the common good. And that, I think, is not happening at the moment. I don't know, the, it's not the fault of the police, it's the fault of, if you like, it's a bit the law, and it's a bit the, uh, possibly the uh, uh, culture is not strong enough here, yet wanting that to happen. We went through that, in, we've been through that in other countries, in my own country, the United Kingdom, we went through that in the 70s and 80s. Everybody thought their own cars knew the way home and didn't need a sober driver to get them there. Oh yes, they were completely confident. Well, they stopped being confident when they lost their license for 12 months as a result of a conviction. And not only lost the license, but found it very difficult to get an insurance company to insure them again at the end of that 12 months.